am so glad you're here for another episode of Mechanism Monday, where every Monday we write out the electron pushing arrow mechanisms for different organic transformations. In last week's video, I asked if you could solve the mechanism for this organic reaction. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you another mechanism to solve for next week's video. I absolutely love this reaction because it's just a series of fundamental steps that you've likely encountered before when studying organic chemistry. And in fact, if you put it all together, it's kind of a retro aldol aldol. And in fact, we're going to see that this molecule is going to split apart before it comes back together to give us our final product. And it all begins by using LDA. So lithium diisopropyl amide is a base that's commonly used when you need a big bulky base. So we can think of this as LDA acting as a base. And what it's going to do is come and deprotonate this hydrogen from the oxygen atom. And that's going to give us our first intermediate where we end up with a negatively charged oxygen at that position. And this is important for what occurs next, which is going to end up being a retro aldol reaction. And in fact, what will happen is that those pi electrons or those one of the lone pairs of electrons on this negatively charged oxygen will come down to form a new carbonyl carbon, which is going to be a carbon to oxygen double bond. And since that would make this carbon have five bonds to it, it actually moves these electrons over to forming an enolate species at this position. And it also serves to break apart this carbon to carbon bond, which separates these into two different molecules. So then after this transformation, what you're left with is an alpha beta unsaturated ketone or an enone, and you're also left with a brand new enolate. So this is going to be this these two carbons located here, and then now we have formed our enolate species at this position where we have formed a negatively charged oxygen because these pi electrons came over to oxygen, and then we still have this methoxy group located here. And from here, we can do a conjugate addition because we have this enolate species and an alpha beta unsaturated ketone, so we can do a 1,4 conjugate addition where these electrons will come down, allowing us to use the pi electrons at the alpha carbon position to attack this four position, which will also kick over these electrons to make a new carbon to carbon double bond and also serve to kick over these pi electrons to make our oxygen negatively charged and reform another enolate species. So then from here, we've almost generated our final product where now we have our enolate that's formed where we can form this carbon to carbon double bond. Remember, we have attached a new carbon to carbon bond here at this alpha carbon position. So we will have our two methyl groups coming off of this carbon, and then the rest of the molecule will be this ester, where we have the O-methoxy group as our R group of the ester. And then in order to get our final product, remember these electrons will actually come down to reform our carbonyl carbon. Remember, the second additional reactant that you add to this reaction mixture is going to be water, so that means that these pi electrons will come and deprotonate this water to form hydroxide, as well as give us our final product. And this is basically what's known as a retroaldol reaction that contains both the retroaldol reaction as well as a 1,4-Michael addition or conjugate addition. So the first step is to deprotonate our alcohol, which allows us to take these pi electrons and come down and form a carbonyl carbon, which is actually going to serve to break open this carbon-carbon bond. And that is the retroaldol reaction. This simultaneously ends up forming a negatively charged oxygen or what's, no, or what's known as an enolate. And then subsequently we can do a 1,4 conjugate addition where the alpha carbon position will attack this carbon to carbon double bond, kicking these over to reform another enolate, which can subsequently be protonated by things like water during workup. If you enjoyed this week's mechanism, give it a thumbs up down below. And for next week, I'd love to see if you could figure out the electron pushing arrow mechanism for this organic reaction. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you never miss out on another Mechanism Monday. I'll see you next week.